Hi, Michael Kwan here with Mega Tech News. We're checking out the brand new Tinkering Studios office here in Vancouver. Uh, they're launching a brand new Ditto Pro 3D printer. So let's go in and have a look. So I'm here with company CEO Eugene Suyu. Tell us how Tinkering Studios came to be. Back in about 2011, 3D printers were relatively expensive, and the only way to get one is either to buy one or build one, and I choose the second round. I built one. I needed a team that was able to do the software, the marketing, the branding, the hardware. Four guys, myself, Andy, Dan, and Justin, who's somewhere around here, and we ran with it. We ran with the idea that we were just simply gonna, gonna build something that works the way that we wanted to work. And we stumbled across the name Tinkering, and it was born after that. 3D printing used to be very expensive because you'd have, you'd have to build your own machine, and it'd be, but now it's, it's getting a lot more cost effective and it's a lot easier for the average person to get into. About five years ago, you're looking at about $40,000 for a machine and Tinkering now offers units under $2,000 that are just as high performance um, but at a fractional cost. And that's part of the goal of what Tinkering is out to do is to make these accessible but yet not skimp on the fact that the performance will be sacrificed from that. Now with your brand new product, it's definitely, it looks like a high-end kind of premium product as opposed to some of the more DIY 3D printers that we've seen from other companies. We wanted to take everything that we knew from our old generation or second generation products and we wanted to refine it. We wanted to kind of get away from the do-it-yourself. We wanted to make it so that it sits in your office and it feels like it sits in your office, not that it sits in the garage. How long does it take for, for example, like the little tags that you were giving out? Typically, how long would it take for that to print? Generally speaking, they don't take any more than about five minutes to print. And um, it's, it's at our default resolu resolution of about 200 microns, which is 0.2 of a millimeter per every layer. It's relatively fast. 3D printing is still, it's still relatively new. So there are people that are concerned about how much it costs, not only for the machine, but to actually print these things. So again, again, using the tag as an example, about how much in materials would it cost? Material cost is probably no more than about five cents. The material is relatively cheap but it's mostly the time that it takes up that it makes it expensive to use. And the Ditto Pro is available now? The first unit that comes off the production will be about four weeks away. And people will be able to pick that up from tinkerings.com? Yeah, it's actually tinkerings.com. <laughs> um, but you can pick that up or you can walk into our location here and talk to one of us and we can show you the machine, we can run the machine for you and we can actually help you pick one up and choose the best one for you. Okay, thank you so much, Eugene. Yeah. Okay. I'm Michael Kwan with Megatech News, checking here at Tinkering Students of Vancouver. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in our next video.